Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to film my March 2018 budget. So this month is going to be very interesting because we actually have my sister's wedding um, in the very beginning of March. So along with weddings come very expensive um, expenses. So dealing with that this month, but I mean you kind of expect this stuff you know, at some point. So I think it'll end up working out okay um, and all of that. But just another thing to kind of plan out for. So when I do my rough budget, I always make sure to put a little bit of buffer in for that type of thing. Because with that, we kind of know um, what some of the expenses are going to be, but there are definitely things like dinners and stuff like that that just kind of happen while you're you know there and you really can't say no when you haven't seen family you know in a few years or whatever so I'm just putting down my normal stickers so since this is, this is March just put down my March sticker at the top and let's just go right into it so last month if you watched my video you know that i put in a section for like other income and that's most um mostly because i was planning on kind of streaming some of my youtube income into my budget but youtube has kind of been slowing down a little bit for me so that did not happen and i doubt it will happen in march um so that is not going to be included this time, but hopefully maybe in April it will be. And then the only other thing is I get a bonus for my company this um, this month because we finally have our results for 2017. So um, I will have to put that in for the income part, but obviously I don't share that. So you really won't see that coming in. And I get paid twice a month. So I'm just doing paycheck one. Paycheck two, bonus, and total income. And I just like to kind of put like placeholders here. So when I go ahead and write them all in, we're good to go. Let me grab my handy dandy ruler. So I usually wait until, I don't know, usually wait until like the middle to end of the month to fill these in. Just because recently with all the tax changes and everything, I've found that, you know, my paychecks in January are not the same as in March. And I'm on salary, so that's not the issue, but it's just kind of goofy. So I don't think there'll be any other changes like that going forward, but that's still just something that I kind of do, especially since I don't share those numbers on YouTube. It's kind of like, okay, I can just fill those in when I am doing other budget related stuff. So I like to split my income from my expenses usually, or mostly because my income is usually pretty steady and the same, but my expenses are usually, you know, what I need to track. So the first thing that we're going to do is write in our expenses. So I just like to put little headers on top here. So the first thing is our mortgage. And for personal reasons, I don't feel comfortable sharing that. Um, electric. We also have gas for our house our trash which is every three months is due we do have cable so we gotta put that in um, Netflix I like to just write these out first and then kind of put them put in the amounts um, last or next is our car payment me and Jason were actually talking about this the other day. We seriously have like 10 months left. That's crazy to think about because we've had a car payment since we've, you know, we're married. Um, next is gas for our cars. Groceries. 
eating out, which is a cash envelope for us. And a few people have asked like why we don't combine our groceries and our eating out. And occasionally we do like, so let's say if we're going on vacation one week and we know we won't be buying a ton of groceries and we'll be eating out more. Sometimes we just kind of move the money from the grocery budget to our eating out budget. But I don't like every month to combine those because we would have no food in our house because we would eat out a ton and then never have food and it just wouldn't work out because eating out is way more expensive than buying groceries. Um, so that's kind of why we do that. I know a lot of people have asked, but for us that just doesn't work out. We love to eat out, so we definitely have to kind of cut back and make sure that we have like a set amount. Otherwise we'll just go crazy and it's easy to when you have like a busy life. And right now it's probably the busiest it's ever been for us with me going to school, me working full time, um, you know, my sister's wedding, Macy's and activities, Jason is super busy like doing stuff with the house. It's just super easy to eat out. So um, next is going to be our sinking funds, which I did a video on how we calculate those. So I won't kind of, I won't go into that, but if you're interested, um, make sure to go check that out. It's in my budgeting playlist. Then um, I'm going to put in a category for Florida trip. And this is for my sister's wedding. So I'll kind of go into that and how I'm kind of changing our budget based off of that. Um, Jason also needs to buy his medication. And something's going on with he needs blood tests or something like that before they'll um they'll refill it so i'm guessing he will buy it either late february or early march but either way we're just going to include it in march and just be done with it and then i like to put a section for unbudgeted not because i have like an unbudgeted amount budgeted if that makes sense but i just like to have it for the actuals column um, and then we'll just do total expenses and down here I like to do potential savings and this is just nice because I just like to see how much we could save you know like if everything goes right during the month what we could save so you can tell this month I've gotten way to the bottom, which is completely fine. Um, but if I had any more, anything more, I would have had an issue. Okay, so now that we've done that, I want to draw a line and kind of separate this from the amounts. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Honestly, the it doesn't matter so much for me. I don't care if it's like perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a line. And then we can kind of put in the budgeted amounts. Budgeted. Okay, so mortgage we're not doing. Electric, I'm gonna go with $80. I don't know if that's going to be correct or not. Our our electric usually comes at the very end of the month, like bef like way after I end up doing my budget for the next month. Um, but it's it's usually around like eighty to a hundred dollars. So I'm not worried about it. Our gas bill, I'm gonna put sixty dollars, but it's so goofy the way that they do it um, in our town. They don't come and read it every month, and so. Like I think it was like four or five months they didn't come read it and then all of a sudden we got a huge bill when they finally did read it. So um, I don't know if you've noticed in a lot of my budget results videos, but usually the gas is like 20 or $30. And then, you know, this past month we got a huge bill. So kind of stinks when that happens, but we really can't like figure out the timing of all of that. Our trash is around $76, but I'm just gonna go at 77 just in case you know, it increased a little bit this year or something. Um, cable is 158. Netflix is 13.99. Car payment 367.78. Gas is 
gas for our car I'm going to go with 125 this month and we'll kind of see how that works we I think I budgeted maybe it was like 200 for this month because we are going to Minnesota for the Super Bowl and it I think it's gonna work really well um, I think we'll be like probably just where we need to be but that was a ton of driving and stuff so I don't know we'll kind of see if we need to adjust that next month for groceries I'm going to budget $400 and that's because we go grocery shopping on Sundays and so I usually just count how many Sundays are in March and multiply it by 100 because I usually give us $100 per um, week and that's kind of what we have Eating out, I do the same exact thing, except for we get $40 per week. Um, the exception is this time, because we're going to be in Florida, and I'm not going to be dealing with cash, and like, you know, I'm in the bridal party, Jason is not, so there's going to be times where him and Macy are going out to eat, but I won't be there, and I don't want to deal with the cash and everything, so we're just going to put it on the card, and it will be included in this Florida trip here. So, instead of doing eating out times four, we're going to do eating out times ooh maybe I did that wrong let me check for some reason I thought it was gonna be times three but so we're not including this weekend let me zoom you guys out so you see like this is kind of my process before when I'm doing my rough budget this is what I do so for groceries I always say okay in March the first Sunday is the fourth so one two three four there's four Sundays so that's four times a hundred four hundred dollars same can be done for eating out because we usually eat out like Fridays or Saturdays. So, but this is my, we're going to be in Florida during this time. So I'm not going to include this weekend because that'll be included in the Florida category. So it'll technically just be one, two, three, four. So that's correct. Um, I was planning on doing four times 40, 160. So that's what our eating out cash clips are going to be. 160 haircuts are always are always $30 it's usually about 11 12 dollars for my um, eyebrows and then like 15 or so for Jason's haircut and then of course like tips and stuff so $30 usually works for us for household I don't know a ton of things that we need but I'm just gonna put $75 down and if we don't use it we'll just kind of roll it over to next month I think we're pretty good on like my makeup, my face wash, stuff like that. I think we're good on toilet paper and stuff like that, but I just want to have some money in there just in case something comes up because I hate like having to actually, you know, use our card for that category and not technically use the cash clips or whatever. So um, next is our sinking funds, which those are always the same, 402. So for our Florida trip, and this might be total overkill, but I'm going to give us $800. In the past, a lot of our trips have been about $1,000. And that's with us, like, going out to eat quite a bit um, and stuff like that. I don't know what this trip is going to entail. And I was honestly, like, ready to give us $1,000 for it. Just because we're renting a car. So that includes a rental car. I was able to get a rental car for, like, $168 or something for probably about a week. So that's pretty good. Um, I will need to buy, I need, I will need to get my makeup and hair done and my nails done for my sister's wedding. So that's, you know, like $250. So I'm hoping that 800 is good, but we'll kind of see. Not too sure. Um, but you guys will figure it all out when we, you know, do our March results video. And, um, I'm a little nervous to know how much it's going to end up being, to be honest. Um, for Jason's meds, it's going to be, I think, I always put 150 but I that might, again, be overkill. And I don't know if they're going to let him do the three-month option because he's just been doing the one month. So we'll kind of see. Um, and then for unbudgeted, zero, obviously, because we're not going to budget for unbudgeted. Um, so now let's do our actuals column. And then we'll need to do the um, over and under as well wish there was a good way of like getting this straight I feel like it's kind of impossible okay ok 
Okay, so that is budgeted. We need an actuals. And then over and under. I'll just draw another line here. How many of you guys use this same type of setup? I would definitely be interested to know because I feel like a lot of people um, either like send me pictures on Instagram or just, you know, comment and say like, oh, I'm using the method that you use and it's been really working out. I was just wondering how many of you guys do because this seems to really work for us. It's still honestly an adjustment doing this way instead of using it in my life planner because I always have my life planner but I don't always have this so it's kind of a struggle doing it this way because I feel like I forget to update it and when when I do it's like a huge thing like it takes me forever um but oh well right um okay so now I want to do in this box here I want to do actual savings And I think I've mentioned this before, but I like to just have this box so that it's like an easy go-to spot to kind of see what we saved. And I'm using these really cute piggies from Just My Rosy Life. I believe her stickers are like pretty cheap. I mean, I got this sheet that's lasted me probably a year now. And I think it's like not more than $3 or something. So if you're interested, she's on Etsy. It's called her shop is called just my rosy life but i like to use the sticker um as just like it, it actually like it just breaks up the page and makes it easy to kind of see what we save just in one spot you know i like to put it right at the bottom here and i do it in the same spot every time so that when i'm flipping through I know, okay, just look at the bottom to see what we saved. And if I don't want to look through my entire budget, it's kind of an easy go-to place, if that makes sense. The next thing that I want to do, actually, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to do that this time. Let's just do it. And if I don't use it, who cares? Um, I like to do like a little key here of things that I need to make sure that I pay. And I've done this a few times. And it's kind of been a good check because when I do my weekly check-ins, I'll take a look um, here and say like, oh crap, I haven't received my whatever bill yet. So I just like to do to pay. And I like using these little check boxes to cover up these circles because I don't know about you guys, but it drives me nuts that they don't have like one on every line and it's every other but anyway so we always have to pay our gas bill we have to pay com ed we have to pay comcast and car payment i just like having those in there and checking them off as um i receive the bills and pay them just so i know like okay I need to take a look, see what we've done, what we're missing. Oh, I haven't gotten our ComEd bill. That's kind of weird. And honestly, I think this is like a huge thing for me now because for the first time in the entire time that me and Jason were married, I forgot to pay a bill. I forgot to pay our ComEd or our Comcast bill. And it's funny because I had a sticker, like one of my, you know, tracking stickers on the monthly view saying that I paid it and somehow I did not pay it. I don't, I still like shocked that I didn't, but I got the bill for the following month and it was like $300 and I kind of freaked out. I'm like, oh my God, we have to cancel cable. Like it's getting way too much and it was just my fault. So anyway, that's a good place to do that. I feel like this space is underutilized a lot and I honestly can't think of a better way to use it so if you have any ideas let me know I thought about doing like an up-and-coming type of thing but honestly I don't want to clutter up the space and like take away from the fact that like I need to see what we spent I need to say what see what needs to be paid I need to see what we're saving so hopefully that makes sense and then the last piece that I want to do is just put on this last 
piece of washi up at the top and that just ties everything together. I know a lot of people have like asked, why don't you use the big washi um, for your sinking funds? And honestly, I just, I've done it this way for so long that I, I really do like having it at the top and just having it tie in because the pages that I use the most are these pages and this page or and these pages. Um, the pages I use the least is probably my sinking funds and that's because honestly I don't use my sinking funds very often. It's probably like once every couple months and so it just makes it easier to kind of see it tied together there. So anyway guys, that is my budget with me video for March. If you have any questions about what I did or anything like that, let me know down below. As always, I have the links for what I use in the description box if you're wondering or if you want to invest in one of these um, cute little planners. This is the deluxe monthly for anyone who's wondering and this is the front cover of mine. I just have a Dave Ramsey quote which is live like no one else and it's it's a nice quote. I really love this really cute like I don't even know what it's called your own words or something like that. Um, but anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!